Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a great day. Today, I want to quickly introduce um, your new topic to you. Your new topic is about pronouns. Now, there are a couple different types of pronouns, but whatever pronoun you use must agree with the noun that it's replacing in number, in gender, and in case. Now, when I say case, there's a couple different cases. We have the subjective case, we have the objective case, and we have the reflexive case. Now, I'm going to explain to you exactly what that means, but before that, I do want to more uh, fully explain to you what I mean when I say the noun that a pronoun replaces. The definition of a pronoun in and of itself is a word that replaces a noun. So instead of saying um, Stewie walks to school every day, Stewie goes and plays with his friends, Stewie, 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 okay, I can say he, he goes to play with his friends, he does this, he does that. Now he is replacing the word Stewie, okay? Now I know that, um, as I said, that a pronoun has to agree with the antecedent, which is the word that it replaces, uh, a pronoun replaces, is called an antecedent, okay? So a pronoun must agree with its antecedent in gender. So if my subject or whatever it is that I'm replacing um, is a boy, then we have to use a masculine pronoun, meaning he, him, his, his self, himself, whatever it is, okay? You have to use those pronouns. If it is feminine, meaning the girl, um, you would use words like she, her, hit, um, herself, sorry, hers, okay? You have to use feminine or masculine pronouns. Pretty easy, okay? Now, a pronoun must also agree in number. So we know that Stewie is one boy. So then I would say he, because he is singular and he is masculine, okay? Now, if I had a group of people and I went through and listed all 17 of the people in the group and I am not in the group myself, I would say they or theirs or theirs themselves or them, okay? Now, these are all listed in your notebook, I mean, in your notes, so you can go back through and look at that, but I just want to explain that to you. When I say that um, a pronoun has to agree in case, okay, there are different types of pronouns, and you have to know which pronouns to use when. Now, I would use pronouns like he, um, her, um, she, it, I, you, they, and uh, we, when I'm replacing a noun that's in the subject, meaning Stewie walks to school. I want to replace Stewie, which is the subject of my sentence, okay? So I would choose he. That is the subjective case, okay? So um, Sheila, Addie, Anna, and Nathaniel all went to the store, okay? Because I'm included in that list, I can say, we went to the store. Subjective case. We is a pronoun used as the subject of the sentence, okay? The next thing is a little more difficult. The objective case, okay? An object it, of the sentence is not a thing necessarily, but it's whatever's receiving the action, okay? So it, for instance, Stewie took Addie to the market, okay? So Stewie took, okay? And because I am Addie, I would say Stewie took me, okay, to the market. Stewie took me to the market. It's the object. 
Who did Stewie take? Me. Okay. Another example would be um, the boy kicked the ball. Okay. What was kicked? The ball was kicked. The object of the sentence is the ball. So I can replace the ball with saying um, the boy kicked it. Okay, that is the objective case. It's a pronoun in the objective case, all right? The final case is the reflexive case. These are pretty easy because all it is is I want you to think of it like a mirror, okay? So the subject is being mirrored at a different part in the sentence. He looked at himself. The reflexive pronouns always end in self, S-E-L-F, or selves, if it's plural, okay? They went by themselves, okay? She took herself home, okay? What did she do? She took herself home. It's reflecting back onto the subject. This is always going to be the same gender as the subject, okay? She and herself. He and himself. They and themselves. We and ourselves, okay? It and itself. You, as in a plural you, and yourselves, okay? Singular you meaning just one of you, would be you and yourself, okay? Yourselves is used as a plural, okay? So when I say you are in a group of people, but I'm not in the group, yourselves, okay? Yourself is singular, okay? I hope that makes sense. We have a lot of examples to go through, so don't be panicked if you don't really understand at this point because we're gonna go through it. At first, what we're going to do is simply go through and find our pronouns. Then we're going to look at how they're used, okay? Meaning, is it as a subject of the sentence? Is it receiving the action as an object? Or is it a reflexive pronoun, meaning it ends in self or selves and reflects back onto the subject, okay? I know this is a little confusing, but don't panic, we will work through it just like we've worked through every other topic that we've done. If you have any questions, you are free to ask me. All right, have a great day.